it's been one month now that we've been running the Mustang on Corriton Sustain. You see, it's raining now, it has been snowing. We've tried it in all kinds of weather. We've done 1,269 miles. I've got it all written down here because some of this is really, really complicated. But we've done 1,269 miles, average of 26.4 miles per gallon. And well, nothing exciting to report as far as the car's running. It's run absolutely fantastically. We've had no warning lights, we've had no hiccups. It's just gone very, very well. In fact, if anything, it feels like it runs a little bit sweeter. That's anecdotal, but it feels like it's running really, really well. The important thing is, We've done all of this and we are now being far more sustainable. So these are the numbers. This is the really important thing. and It's very confusing. We'll put it all on the screen. So 1,269 miles at 26.4 miles per gallon is 48 gallons or 218 litres. Work that out. It's on the internet. 218 litres at a fuel density of 0.7647. Who knew? That is 166.7 kilograms of fuel used to do 1,269 miles. So that's what we've done. 166.7 kilograms of fuel at an energy density of 43 millijoules per kilogram, whatever that means, is 7,168 millijoules. Are you with me? This is the important bit. The equivalent amount of CO emitted at 94 grams would have been 674 kilograms on normal unleaded. Instead, with 80% saving, we have actually done it at 135 kilograms. That's a big saving. What does 135 kilograms mean? I've got it written down here. That is less than half the amount of CO2 that you emit having your daily shower. It's the same amount of CO2 that you actually create sending emails every year. That kind of puts in some sort of context. And actually, an average person, they create 1.7 kilograms of CO2 a day, just going about their daily business, it doesn't include driving. So those are the numbers. We're going to keep running this, we're going to keep seeing how it goes on sustain. But so far, really, really good, runs really well. Um, early on this month, we had the MOT. Let's go and find out what happened there. Guys, today we're down at Samson Motor Engineers and we're in Ferndown and it is the trial. The test of this fuel has been put in its pace. Basically, the Mustang that's done 532 miles on sustained fuel is now getting its MOT. The MOT is an official test every year in the UK, making sure this car is safe to be used on the road. Samson Motor Engineers basically keep all of the British motor show vehicles safe and legal on the road. Nigel here is basically going through and undergoing a full inspection, which includes the tires, the brakes, the emissions, and basically every item on this car needs to be safe. Um, Andy here puts his truck in these guys, and um, how are you feeling it's going to go? Any, any differences, any feelings you're feeling when you're driving it? I think like everyone here okay when you guys with the MOT. I mean, we look after this car, Nigel does all the stuff for us, but obviously, this thing gets used in the arena and stuff. Exactly. It was used in the live arena last year, it got a bit of a kick. So I'm, I'm using this at the moment for Corrington Sustain. Yeah. Um, it's due to MOT. Obviously, there's a lot of safety stuff going on. We'll also be looking at the emissions at the tailpipe. I, I guess we're expecting it to be the same as normal because that's what Sustain does. Although it's carbon neutral, it's taking it out the air, putting out the exhaust, so it should be the same, I guess. Exactly. I mean, the gentleman up there said to us that you shouldn't notice any different in the drivability of the car. But, you know, this is the major test here. You know, that, that pollution that you see coming out the exhaust is basically invisible to the eye unless you're revving the hell out of it. But it's those details on the paper that is gonna basically tell us yay or nay. Is it exactly the same as a normal Mustang that he'd notice, you know? Yeah, and, and I, I think the other thing for today, so it's due to service next month. Um, okay. and, and this is gonna be the other challenge for the sustainable kind of project is we're gonna have to service this car and any of the parts it needs. We've gotta find a sustainable way of doing it. So, exactly. you know, rather than just going and buying all this stuff brand new, most people will do, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Can we go and find them off eBay, for example? Yeah. So someone who's maybe bought them and didn't need them anymore, or if it needs a part, maybe we can find it used. So it's, it's that next level of sustainability. Yeah, it's not all about skimping and buying the cheapest item. It is about, you know, people out there bought stuff, and like you say, having used it, they bought a set of brake pads for their Mustang, sold the car, they've sat on the shelf. Can we buy them and stop someone else, you know, going out and buying another one, yeah, you know? It's the same, same the planet. That's it. And the oils and all the lubricants and stuff like that that come out of it, but what will you do with them? Well, I think we'll talk tonight about that in a moment. No, no worries. Let's get to it. <laughs> 